Hello there everyone and welcome back for another Matte Mod review and today I'm going to be doing a review an update review of the Pine Cove Farm map version 1.4 just came out today by Stevie and I do believe it's the final version of this he's going to make so I have updated my let's play to this version I'm just starting to play catch up now I did uh, add some more of my equipment back and purchased back my field and I figured I'd just go over everything with you guys. I was just going to quickly go over everything, but I think I'm going to do an in-depth uh, review of this because he added so much. And I'm going to list everything down below so you can read along with me or you can just watch my workers work while I read you off everything that he has changed. So uh, the link is going to be provided down below as well. So once again, if you're not familiar with Stevie's Maps, when you click on the link, Look in the top right hand corner, there's going to be an arrow pointing down to a line. Click on that and you'll download the whole folder. So just download that into the folder you want. Then when it's downloaded, open it up. There's going to be three files inside that zip file. Take them out. One's going to be your map. And then there's going to be two readme files. One's going to be all the updates for this version and the other one's going to be all the updates for the previous versions up to this point so not to confuse you but that's what's in there so just pop them in your folder and you'll be ready to go now I have on a separate monitor here all the changes he has made so I'm gonna go over some of this stuff with you guys and I'll just hire a worker here so you have something to look at while I'm going over this so some of the changes that were made new foil foliage foliage <laughs> channels added map repainted with new foliage uh I, I don't know if i'm saying that foliage the foliage new fruits added spelt critical sour gum and millet puddles around the map animated speedboat with night lighting added cool all fruits show in PDA with prices now. Vehicles, spleen, edited, and cars are more hidden from the bay end. Greenhouses grouped into Mervils, M-E-R-V-I-L-S. Pallet sales for greenhouse condensed. Midland burn added. Sales prices adjusted to make the map harder, so I take it that uh, he lowered the prices for that, but that's fine. Terrain changes and fixes added. Gold coins adjusted where needed. New PDA map added, or updated, sorry. New grass meadow owned and defined field created at the rear of the cow zone. New milk triggers added and sales location changed. New sales points for liquid manure, manure, compost, slurry, di digestate added. New vehicle storage added, new storage added for water, fertilizers, fuel, liquid manure and seeds, floating hedge corrected, compost master conveyor particles rotated, field four work angle flip 90 degrees for AI mission so surface angle matches how the field is worked, sales points adjusted for new fruits in the map. New custom sounds added to the map for daytime nature in nighttime. Not too sure about that one. Uh, redundant sounds around the map removed, like the wave sounds in fields. Sawmill sound. Sawmill sounds at Jebs and tunnel sounds. Compost master adjusted for better access. Gate adjusted into the metal for better access. All Seedmaster auger shoots raised for better vehicle access. Farmyard Seedmaster access improved. Extra detailing around the map. Sales points adjusted slightly where needed to provide a clearer PDA map. Underwater foliage and detailing added around the map. Storage capacity increased at certain items. New signs and textures added where needed. Pig manure heap fixed. Seed and fertilizer supply at the Midland Burn added. This costs you money. New lighting added where needed. Field 5 size adjusted. Lookout tower size increased for better access. Burn sizes adjusted for better vehicle access. 
new water driven flower mill with auto cell triggers new selling tree new working tree nursery with auto cell triggers water usage reduced on the greenhouses sorry guys i'm just getting a little overloading pipe added to the greenhouse water tanks field six and two floating trees fixed Chop straw updated to the latest and chop straw added for all multi fruits. Multi fruit foliage and distance texture matched. All multi fruit foliage textures tweaked. Shovel targets added to cell heaps. Compost plant heap. Uh, seeds and fertilizer store input triggers. Bio pro fertilizer. The separator heaps and the fermenting silos fill trigger. Pig food mix output raised to prevent most tall vehicles from hitting it. Small silage clamp added to the cow area. Straw burns with increased for better access. Straw burns with increased for better access. Tomato greenhouse placeable added to the farmyard. Access improved on the cow feed mixer. Access improved to the PGA exit or the BGA exit. Storage added in the BGA for diesel, liquid fertilizer, and fertilizer. All kinds of stuff here, guys. I'm just about done. I'm just looking for my mouse from my other computer so I can scroll down a little bit. Just a couple more things here. Uh, maple trees added with new, darker texture. More trees added to the natural forested areas. Forestry added. Forestry area tested fine with the... Damcon tree planter. Distance tree boundary borders added. Preview image updated. Adjust adjusted starting vehicles. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah, I noticed that. The starting fleet is totally different now. Uh cow mev mesh nav mesh. Cow nav mesh adjusted. Cow throat troughs adjusted. Gates added to the top end of the cow zone. Field two added to own at game startup yeah you get an extra field there's much more but you'll never notice i love how he goes right into detail and everything and then you know what no, a, a lot of us really appreciate what you're doing man so like definitely keep it up and we really do appreciate the uh the added detail you go so in depth with everything man and it's really appreciated so so yeah so i figured i'd go over some of that stuff i'll list all that down below too guys as well as the link now let's jump out of here and I'll quickly pop in my fly code here so we can uh, take a little tour of the map because half of this stuff I did notice. Now if I forget some stuff guys don't get mad at me because I'll have to like read that a couple of times before like a lot of it sinks in. So let's go over to the firm and I did notice some things right off the bat like he did adjust some things. There's one of the trucks you start with. Let's look at the starting fleet. Over to the garage. Yeah, you get a different starting fleet. You get this guy with the front loader and a weight attached. You get the uh, the fence you had that before. You get this. You get a semi you didn't get before. I bought this myself. See, I, this is going to be kind of confusing because I sold a lot of stuff and added some stuff. But you'll notice that you do actually get a scorpion this time. So that's really good. So I didn't have to trade that in for a better one. I replaced my combine with this. But uh, yeah, you get a new Holland Harvester, not this one. So I don't want to throw you off there. So I just want to, I should just show you around the map. So you'll know what I mean by the vehicles once you uh, update your map. So yeah. Yeah, you'll notice some changes in around here. There's a metal back here that you own as well. Right here. I never noticed before. Seafield 18. Right where I'm blinking there. I didn't notice that there before. So that could be new. Um, you do own an extra field now. You actually own field 2, 18, and 5 when you start. I went ahead and bought 3 on my own. Um, yeah, because I am uh, I was doing a Let's Play on this map. And I'm going to update it now. Because, man, he changed a lot of stuff. And I'm falling behind now. So... So, yeah okay so what else are we gonna look at here 
Let's go back to the. I don't know why I left the farm. I wasn't done looking around there. So I noticed, yeah, too, that he took the silage pit out from the back here. That was nice. That was kind of pointless having that there. You had to drive through it to access it here, but he just moved it back here. All these things are a little bit more easier to access. I noticed that greenhouse is new. Uh, look at this over here, guys. Look. You can actually store all your stuff there, your seed, your uh, or uh, your fertilizer and stuff, and your seed, yeah. So that's really cool that he put that there. Uh, there's something else new here. This storage area, I don't believe, was here before. Yeah, like I said, you get a few new vehicles. I'm not sure if this diesel was here before. Like, I know you could fill up from there, but I'm wondering if you could sell your diesel there, too. I, I don't know. So, yeah. What else do we have here? There's the Seed Master there. It's covered now. Um, even the uh, cow zone in here looks different. There's like two milkers in there now. Okay, let's go down to the... Uh, not sure if there's anything different there, but we'll go down to the uh, BGA. So I know we changed a few things down there. And, uh, yeah, I did notice some of the puddles. You'll notice there's puddles around the map here. Not a whole lot of changes here. Some changes. I don't remember that little slurry thing being there on the ground, but I could be mistaken. I'm pretty sure it was more open back here, too, because I was parking my tankers back here before, and it seems like there's less room now. Which is fine. I'm not... I don't mean anything by that. Uh, look at this, guys. Storage for your diesel and your uh, fertilizers. So very nice. I think this is still the same. Got a little bit of uh, storage there. I noticed too over here at Jeb's that they added a, uh, a place to sell diesel as well. I don't know if anything changed around here. I might have read it there and I just forget. But I'll have to take another look at that. So up here is where I was doing my forestry last time. And I do have my scor scorpion up here. And my auto load trailer. Not sure if any of this changed. Yeah, so I just went back and reloaded the game. A uh, brand new game. I can't remember this barn being here on the on the farm. I thought that was somewhere else before, but I think he made the uh I do believe I read there that he made the opening bigger because it was kinda hard to get in and out of there. But I didn't think that was there. I thought that was somewhere else. But yeah, I reloaded the game because I wanted to show you the starting fleet that you start with when you do, uh, if you're going to update to version 1.4, you'll get the uh, Puma, a Vario, a Magnum CVX front loader. This is all attached to this. You'll get a Semi, the Lizard there. Uh, you'll get the New Holland. I do believe that's the biggest one. Yeah, the C CR1090. You get the two different headers that go along with that for corn and regular fruit. You get you had that one before. This is different. You'll get that. Uh, you get a cultivator here, a plow, a cedar, and a corn cedar. Well, and that's uh, also a couple other things here as well. You get the uh, the dry fertilizer and the spray fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, I should say. A weight, uh, both mower attachments you get a loading wagon big baler uh this auger i sold that because i'm going to replace mine with a crone you get a uh a pickup and a silage shield a water tank uh the scorpion king's new you didn't get that before you didn't get anything and uh i had to buy the bear but i'm glad i could replace it with that in my let's play you get a sprayer some greenhouses and your wind conveyor of course and to go over to the map very quick here so you can see yeah you own field 5 2 and 18 to start and that's just a meadow where you can cut grass and stuff so there's all kinds of uh updates he made there man uh, that must have took a long time to make all them changes I also wanted to add that yeah he did add extra fruit types I did read that off there but just to give you a look there's oats and look at this, rye, triticle, or triticale, I'm not sure how you say that. Sour gum, spelt, and millet. I'm not too sure what these are. If you guys know, you, maybe you can tell me down below. 
But okay, there you go. But there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that review for the uh, update 1.4. Additional information and links will be provided down below. I forgot to uh, mention two guys. I will add Farmer Andy's Cote pack down below along with that, which uh, will go hand in hand with this map. And the uh, Farmer Andy's Cote Universal pack will handle any liquids in this game from milk to liquid poop and all that stuff. So any kind of liquid you can uh, transport with that, including diesel and anything liquid in the game. So guys, uh, there you have it. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the review on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, um, go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll be sure to bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day. So guys, enjoy the update and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.